So to start it off, coming all the way from Latvia to play hockey in the States, how does that feel, man? Uh, it feels awesome. I like change, to be honest. I think it's good for me. Uh, a change uh, gets me new uh, opportunities, new things to learn over the ocean, and uh, it just gives me new motivation to work. And so I know you have dual citizenship. So were you born in the States, or were you, is, your, is your dad Latvian and your mom's American? Uh, no, my, my dad uh, grew up in America, and my mom is Latvian, so I got the passport from my dad. And uh, uh, I haven't lived in the States. I just visited like once a year or twice, uh, tw- once in two years. Did your dad get you started in hockey, or is it more the more prevalent sport over in Latvia? Uh, yeah, it's actually, well, it's a debate, but I think it's the most popular sport here. Uh, when when I was younger, I watched it on TV, so I basically told my parents I want to play, and uh, I started at age six, so it's been a while, like 10 years now, more than 10 years, yeah. uh, and I still like it. It's I, I've never gotten enough of hockey. Yeah. What's your favorite part of hockey? Uh, I really like, of course, the game, but the preparation with the team, all the travel, and uh, when it all comes together for a big game, I think uh, is the best, like the anticipation. And when the game finally starts and everybody plays hard for each other, I think that's the best part. And then you said you, you debate whether or not hockey is the biggest sport in Latvia. Is the other one soccer or what is it? Uh, my dad says it's beach volleyball because more people play it. But uh, yeah, when there's world championships, it's like a national tradition for everyone to watch it. So. I think more popular is hockey, but it's expensive sports, so not so many people play it. How did you decide to sign with the Power? Well, yeah, so it started off, uh, I just, uh, after the season, I was uh, ready to move on to America. I think it would help me and uh, uh, like a new step in my game. So uh, I went to a NAHL a European Combine, and uh, after the combine and talking to some uh, scouts, uh, they said that NA3 would be a good fit for me. I could uh, practice my game. And uh, so I got offers. And w- when I read that uh, there will be a team in Milwaukee this year, I already knew it would be the perfect fit. And uh, my, dad, my dad thought so as well. So yeah, we just, uh, I just knew it. If, it's, if there's a team in, in Milwaukee, I would love to play there. And I'm glad it worked out. And so I take it your dad's pretty excited to have you over here. Is he going to be flying over for any games, or is he pretty much got to watch it all on our broadcasts? Well, he said he's going to watch one game. <laughs> he really doesn't like the cold ice ice rings, but yeah, he he said that he'll make it to one game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe we'll have to try to get him a VIP seat with a seat warmer or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give him a back blanket or something. <laughs> When are you thinking, are you going to be over here, obviously, for our August camp? Are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm really, I can't wait, to be honest. Uh, I'll be there August, and then I'll stay uh, for the whole month, hopefully, and uh, practice and get ready for the season. So, yeah, pretty soon, like three, uh, two more weeks, a bit more, and then I'm going to fly out to the uh, main camp. And I'm excited to meet all the coaching staff and the new players. It's going to be a lot of information for sure. <laughs> I'm excited. This season is going to be your first year in the States. It's going to be first year of junior. What's kind of going to be your goal going into the season? What do you want to What do you want to achieve? And then after the season, I mean, I know you want to move on to the NA for next year, ideally. But obviously, you're a young player. You've got three yeah. years of eligibility, so you've got plenty of time to do that. But so, what's the this season focus for you? Well. As I said, I want to progress as a player, but I really want the team to succeed because I think it's really, it's like the Vegas Golden Knights, the first year team. And uh, my goal is to help the team as much as I can and along that progress as a player. And uh, yeah, just just get a feel because it's different playing style in North America for sure. A lot of kids uh, who I know, they uh, tell me that it's a lot different. So adjust to the game style and uh, help the team win as many games and hopefully make the playoffs and then go further. Just I want a successful season for the whole city. Yeah. And then how does how, what do your friends told you on how it, U.S. hockey varies from European hockey? 
Well, they tell it's more physical, uh, more hits, <laughs> and uh, they tell me the game is faster. They t they say that in Europe it's more skill based, but in America they say they just run and uh, crash the net. So it's a bit different, you could say. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, maybe it's just a stereotype, but yeah. I know we're really excited to have you coming out. Um, is there anything else you know you want to talk about? Anything we should know about you when you come in? Anything the coaches should know? Well, not really. I'm just gonna do what they say, and uh, well. I can tell that I'll give everything I got, every game, every practice, and uh, I think uh, it will be a fun season, a lot of fun nights in the Wilson Arena. Yeah. All right, Marshall, thanks for getting on a call with me. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you in early August. Hope, yeah. hope your flight, everything goes well, and we'll, we'll see you when you get here. Yeah, the tickets are booked. I'm ready to go. Awesome. Well, I'll see you then, yeah. man, all right? Yeah, thank you. This is the one-on-one -on -one with Gordon Seprin here on Power TV. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll see you next time.